Maya Lin is a minimalist sculptor known for these forms that explore nature, that explore typography, or sorry, not typography, uh, typology, uh, looking at elevations and change in elevations over land. But she's acclaimed for something different. When she was 21 years old and a student at the Yale School of Architecture, she created a very interesting piece, the austere and simple Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Now, the memorial was controversial from the start. After all, there are wars that don't have or didn't have memorials at the time, major ones such as, you know, World War II. And so this was controversial to begin with. And then there was a competition, a blind competition. And when you looked at the competitors, the winner out of 1,400 entrants would be Mei Lin with this very basic, simple, austere form. And if you visited the Vietnam Memorial Wall, you know that this is a very simple, very powerful image. But there was controversy even here. We had a lot of people who protested that black was a color of sorrow and shame in so many cultures and therefore was inappropriate for this setting because it seemed to give the impression that Vietnam was a shameful experience. Others argued that it was too powerful, that the black color would juxtapose too much with all the white monuments in Washington, D.C., there would be a compromise. There would be some statues added to it, uh, some of which are still on site, but I'm not going to focus on those. Instead, I want to focus on the wall. And it's a very powerful image. It's a very powerful piece, in large part because of its simplicity. The polished black granite reflects you in the image. You look at the names and you see yourself. It gives you the impression that you could be one of the veterans on that wall had circumstances been different, had you been born earlier or whatever the situation may be. That reflective nature has always been key to the Vietnam Memorial. And it creates a very powerful impression in people. How many people do you know go and take rubbings of names from the Vietnam Memorial Wall or make a point of visiting it if they're ever in D.C.? And this is really a statement to the power of the peace. Some of the most powerful monuments in human history have been the simplest. And when we back away and look at it from a distance, you'll notice that simplicity at its peak, it's maybe eight feet tall at its deepest point at the corner. And yet, it just cuts into the landscape. It gives us the impression of the Vietnam War itself, a war that had a huge impact on a lot of people. Not the same impact as World War II. We weren't under potential threat in the United States, as you could argue we maybe were in World War II but still had a massive impact, an impact that was often lost on the larger society because so many people didn't know people who were involved. The soldiers who were drafted were the ones who, whose parents couldn't get them out of the war or who couldn't afford to go to college to avoid the draft. And so she's getting at a lot of these ideas, the idea of the invisible war, the idea of a war that was fought in the media, as much as anywhere else, a war that was divisive. And it's all captured in this simple, universal black slash across the landscape, reminding us of the sacrifice of the people who found themselves tied into this horrible conflict.